Post-op vans frickin' suck. They're one of the major reasons why I don't recommend for people to partake in motorcycle club businesses, because if you get stuck with post-op vans, you have one of two options. Either loading into a new lobby, losing about 5% of your total product, or selling and probably not having enough time to complete the sale mission. Either way, you're losing money, and it's a complete waste of time to do the sale missions with post-op vans. It's by far one of the worst ideas Rockstar has ever had. It completely screws over people trying to earn money legitimate, and it just sucks completely. However, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a way to actually have post-op vans to what I've seen and tested no longer be possible to spawn in. So let's get straight into it. Post-op vans are one of multiple different sale missions that you can have when it comes to your motorcycle businesses. You can have helicopters, garbage trucks, you've got the post-op vans, motorcycles, planes, and boats. So there's a decent chunk of sale missions that you can get. You can even get two different types of trucks if you're actually selling at the weed farm. So it's not like you're always going to get post-op vans as a delivery option. But when you do, it absolutely sucks. And especially because of the fact that when you have your motorcycle club businesses filled to the max or even 75% full, you're usually going to get four vehicles in the sale mission. So, for example, if we make our way over to our Coca-Cola lockup and sell for $315,000, there's a chance we will get post-op vans. Currently, we got motorcycles, and we can see that there are four motorcycles in front of us. And where they spawn is we got one in the back and then three in front of us on the road. But this is where the post-op vans comes into play. Post-op vans are quite large, and Rockstar always spawns them, usually one, two, and three right in the road where we're standing. So, the idea is that if you block where the post-op vans can spawn, Rockstar cannot give you post-op vans. Now, this idea is not original to myself. In fact, three days ago, there was this video posted by Lunch Tray Boy, which showcases his idea, blocking the post-op van spawns, and he says basically to what he's tested, it works every time. So, I wanted to further expand upon this video idea. I wanted to see if we could refine it a bit, showcase an easier way to get the post-op vans to never spawn, and test it ourselves by literally going over and over and over with sale mission after sale mission with the post-op vans until we get them or we don't so we'll be putting it to the test in today's video but hopefully by the time you're done watching today's video we will have confirmed that you will never get post-op vans as a spawn mission again in grand theft auto online in the video I watched, the YouTuber used a Severus and a laser to block the post-op vans, but I think we can do better. If we pull out an Avenger, it's way larger and it should much, much easier take up a lot more space. So that's going to be the first thing we go, is go to Services, Avenger, and we're going to request our Avenger and see just how much room we can block with it. Oh yeah, this thing is absolutely massive, and I'm hoping that if we do this correctly, it's literally going to take up the entire road. So there you go, we have landed our Avenger right where the post-op vans should spawn. To take up even more of the room, I'm also going to then place, I'm thinking a Phantom Wedge. Very easy to call one of these in. Actually, you know what, it's something even better. We can do the Pounder Custom, I'm pretty sure. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. The Pounder Custom is massive, and anybody can get it in the nightclub for free. So, yeah, look at the size of the Pounder Custom. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our Avenger and the Pounder Custom completely blocking literally any of the possible spawn locations of the post-op vans. Now, with this theory in test, my thought process is that, yeah, there really shouldn't be any chance of a post-op van spawning because of the fact we're literally blocking all all the areas that they can spawn. So let's make our way inside the Coca-Cola lockup. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just test over and over different spawns and we're just gonna see if I can ever get the post-op vans to spawn until I'm out of value. Right now we got $175,000 worth of product. Let's sell this for 262 grand and see if we get post-op vans whatsoever. My guess is it's not going to happen and as we can see, it's not even spawning the motorcycles because I think we've actually blocked the motorcycles cycle spawn location as well. So it's telling us to enter the planes. 
Here we are, attempt number two. Let's see what happens. We're gonna sell stuff for $210,000. Do we get a single post op van? Nope, it wants us to enter the planes again. You can see I actually think I did a better job parking both vehicles this time. There's literally no room whatsoever for the post op vans to spawn. But we'll keep going. We'll just keep double checking our X's and O's to see if we can even get any vehicles to spawn in front of us. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I may have uh, crashed my Avenger a bit, but it still should be completely blocking everything in front of us, so I think we're fine, we got the Pounder Custom there anyway, we got $105,000 worth of value inside of our Motorcycle Club, which is about 157 grand. we're actually losing quite a bit of money every time we do these sale missions, but again, no post-op vans, just a single motorcycle. So it seems like this does work at a business like the Coke Lockup, but I also want to try this at the Math Lab. Now to what I'm aware, the post op vans can actually spawn in a pretty wide range at the uh, Math Lab. So we're going to start off by parking our Avenger, one of them right here. I think this is an exact location of where the post op van can spawn. So we're going to have the Avenger completely blocking off this area. Then we're going to go into vehicles and we're going to go call out the Pounder Custom and we're going to drive it right into this area in front of us here should block off another pretty decent sizable location of where the post op vans can spawn then if we want to get even less area that a post op van can spawn we could then go technically to pegasus and call out a vehicle so we could do possibly a weaponized vehicle a helicopter or even a plane how about we do something absolutely stupid like the titan there we go i would say that there is almost zero possibility of post op vans being able to spawn at this point there are certain areas that they might be able to spawn differently i know sometimes like one can spawn over here but i'm pretty sure that for the most part there's no way post op vans are going to be able to spawn with what we've just done i should also point out to the fact that this should cancel the trash masters too which are the garbage trucks but there's really only one way to find out so let's do a sale mission really quick enter a motorcycle and as we can see that has spawned the motorcycles at like the only area that we haven't blocked which is right here so i'm pretty sure you just can't get post op vans if you do this correctly same for the trash masters now depending on where they spawn you're gonna have to remember that because certain areas are going to be harder to block off the post op vans and others like i did do one sale mission the other day and i had a post op van spawn over here so you have to be careful you might have to put like a sparrow over here to make sure that the post op van can't spawn there then you got to block the spawn location over here but for the most part if you do everything correctly there should be almost no chance of post op vans spawning especially for businesses that don't have a lot of area like the coke lockup very easily you can block all the post op vans when it comes to the counterfeit cash factory should be very easy when it comes to the weed very very easy i think really the math lab is going to be the only one that requires a bit more effort than the others so there you have it ladies and gentlemen hopefully today's video helps you out and let me know in the comments down below if this does indeed work obviously this is just a preliminary video idea showcasing what i've seen and giving some better ideas on how to completely block off post op van spawns now i wouldn't recommend to actually call out a titan because that seems like a lot more effort than actually needs to be done but calling out the avenger and something like the pounder custom is incredibly easy to do it should only take you about one to two minutes of effort and it can save you like 10 to 15 minutes of sale mission effort if you don't ever have to get post op vans or trash masters again so at the end of the day, hopefully today's video helped you out and let me know if this does work in the comments down below. To everything I've tested, it seems pretty foolproof and getting the job done. But at the end of the day, there's really only one way to find out and that is through trial, effort, and a lot of testing. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.